He's even been putting up posters. Good day, madam. I've come to you with a special requirement. The tailors on the street can't help me, I'm afraid. Could you make a doll for me? Oh, Senior Holmes. You taught the police how to do their job, and they found the thief. Of course I will help you. But what sort of doll? A child's doll, such as my great niece might play with? Um, a little larger than your typical doll. Signore, I don't understand. Boy, girl, animal, and what color? Animal, um, a passionate, perhaps amorous animal. Ah, oh, Signore, you talk in readers. I am an old lady who's seen it all. Tell me what you need. I need a life-size elephant. I think Mrs. Nini outdid herself with this one. Is that a tail? That's a trunk, John, but I must agree with you that it's a masterpiece. Well, let's not waste any time. The game is on. So, what's the plan? I hope it all doesn't go horribly wrong. We know that the elephant is seeking a female. We can arrange that. A doll with the appropriate scent might do miracles. So you're a marriage broker? Well, I suppose that makes me a groomsman. Oh, she is a bit breezy, I must say. Well, Goliath is eager for a single female elephant in his area. It should be just enough for his taste. You'll need to trust me. Are we ready? I can't stand the tension. We're ready. Let's call the elephant. How could anyone resist? I knew a lady once who said just that. Too bad I'm not an elephant. Take your time, Sherry. That deserves a slap, and then a kiss. And here's our lovesick friend. What 
is the meaning of this? Why are you bringing it here? I won't allow you to leave. I assure you that it is only a temporary measure. It won't be long until the elephant is gone, I promise you. It injured itself while running through the forest. Peaceful and compliant, almost a gentleman. The left tusk is larger and more worn. You're a left tusk elephant. something in the needle. A feathered fletching. This might be promising.
don't have any thoughts on this. I'm afraid I can't add anything useful. I have to leave you for now. I have to leave you for now. have any thoughts on this. I have nothing to say about this. I don't have any thoughts on this. I have nothing to say about this. How can you read something like this? It's hard to swallow and that's not due to the hard cover. You're hardly serious. Any library without Nabe and Laura is incomplete. If you can read, then these books are an absolute must. Love and adventure. They're about life. Oh, I wasn't aware that exploding pyramids were a part of daily life on Cordona. You haven't seen life, so you might try reading about it at least. I don't feel safe with that beast back here. I don't feel safe with that beast back here. I don't feel safe with that beast back here. I don't feel safe with that beast back here. That beast back here. I don't feel safe.
with that beast back here. You were right about Goliath. Everyone confirmed your opinion. They all agree that the beast is vicious. The animal wielded two tons of rage and Mr. Gildan regrettably didn't stand a chance. The mating season only served to amplify its temper. Oh, spare me. That's a little too much detail, thank you. What is the point of this conclusion? How do you plan to use your findings? Miss Gildan, I know how much you dislike the elephant. Rather more than dislike. I wish I could have done more to that wretch than just speak of it. But it's innocent. Goliath did not intend to kill your father. It was provoked, scared, and in mating season. Your father took Goliath's normal state for granted, and in doing so made a mistake that caused the elephant to be aggressive. Stop it! I already know the answer. I don't need your moral perspective on this situation. I don't know why you wasted your time. I actually did more than you. Which involved what, Miss Gildan? A man with a big wallet made an offer to take the elephant away. I accepted it. I was so naive thinking that it was me who was so helpless. But you are useless too. I am glad that the elephant is no longer of your concern, but I need to make sure. I don't care and I don't want to listen. I thought you wouldn't turn... Why is that? I suppose it's the English way to leave without saying goodbye, but I never planned to abandon you. Because you brought the filthy beast here. Because you did nothing to ensure its proper punishment. I had to do everything, not you. I was piecing together your father's murder. There was nothing to piece together. I told you, it was Goliath. I never asked you to talk with anyone. I asked you to find stupid animal. Even if my efforts are invisible, that does not mean that I did nothing. I don't have the strength to argue. These are my father's belongings. They're about your mother. Take them all and leave me be. I won't waste your time any longer, Miss Gildan. Thank you for your help. My mother always wore this around her neck until one day it disappeared. I was wondering where it went. She said it was a birthday present from a good friend. I just had another glimpse of a memory, John. It's fuzzy, but I'm sure it happens somewhere in the manor. Finally moving forward. Shall we go? You know, I envy you, Sherry. You can talk to other people and they won't ignore you. And I envy you. You can ignore any person you're bored with. 
You don't miss out on much. Most men are dull, unlike yourself. Well, I'm flattered. I had a surprise for my mother. You had a shovel with you, John. I was holding an ancient Greek vase, or rather, quite a big piece of it. I remember now, we dug up the vase from Greek ruins here on Cordona and were eager to show my mother right away. For some reason, the door was closed. We knocked. But nobody answered. We thought that she was busy. So we left the vase and ran downstairs. I decided to gather some archaeological tools in order to take a closer look at the vase. But then we heard something, didn't we? Yes. It came from upstairs. The vase was broken, shards scattered all over the floor, and your mother was standing at the door. Indeed, John. I doubt it was her. Let me concentrate. Otto Richter was standing there, furious at us. Dr. Richter told us never to disturb my mother when the door is closed. He said she had broken the vase. But we didn't believe him. I bet he smashed it. Her things are still here. Presumably Mycroft never felt the need to sort through it all. Or couldn't bring himself to. No. He would have put it behind him and moved on. My brother is not one for sentimentality. Looks like it was damaged by a blunt object. This room always reeked with an acrid medicinal stench. And here is the reason. This picture was drawn by my mother. I recognize her hand. There's a date on it, 8th of December, 1868.
This seems a bit odd. I can recognize my mother's style, but it's far too sloppy. Dated 12th of February, 1869. It's difficult to tell what this is meant to represent. There's no date at all. Do you think the doctor could have used these tools here? I hope not. There appear to be residues of the bottle's contents at the bottom. There appear to be residues of the bottle's contents at the bottom. No labels. I doubt it ever had one. It's a strange feeling to read about my father's death in the newspaper. I can't recall anything except the deep feeling of loss. You were too young. It happened before we even met. It's so sad. I'm sorry. Straps on the bed. It just doesn't look right. Oh, I would love to take a bath right now. Not this one. Surface corrosion suggests it was prone to extreme temperature fluctuations. For medical purposes, I suppose. One dram dissolved in a glass of water administered daily, not to exceed one dose in 24 hours, not to be given to children. Seems this was the most frequently used medication. Oh, it brings back some memories. Bars covering the windows from the inside. My mother loved flowers. They made her smile. I remember we would bring a new bouquet every week to make her a bit happier. That's why we collected all the violet flowers we could find on the island.
You're not obliged to be here, Sherry. We can leave any time you want. Look what I found. The White King is under attack. Sherry, can you save him and checkmate the opponent in one move? Oh, nice move. You saved the king and checkmated the black king with the rook. <sighs> You're not obliged to be here, Sherry. We can leave any time you want. 